Well, for 21 years, America's Test Kitchen has helped viewers test, troubleshoot, and conquer classic recipes. Now in its first spinoff, 11 home cooks from all over the country compete to become the newest America's Test Kitchen cast member and jumpstart their culinary dreams. Take a look. Come on, you gotta smell the aroma. <laughs> Hot in the kitchen today. Or is it Robbie's muscles? <laughs> there you go, honey. What are we doing? Oh, it's a competition, right. This is my dream. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. The pressure is on. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving. It's a lot on the line. You think you'll have enough time for it? I don't know. It's a test kitchen, you gotta have fun. I'm being tested today. I am testing right now. Never a dull moment. <laughs> And host of America's Test Kitchen, The Next Generation, Jeannie Maya Jenkins, join us now. Hi, Hi Sarah. Good, good to, good to see, see you. Let's talk um, food. Let's talk food because I love food. You love yes, food. Yes, and you used to cook, and I like love cooking, but we've got the kids thing now, so the cooking is like getting shrunken yeah, down to so like minute the, meals. I, yeah, but what used to be like, oh, I'm going to spend 12 hours on this dish is now yeah. 10 minutes. But, um, so let's talk about this. How familiar were, were you with like the original America's Test Kitchen oh. before you signed on to this? I mean... ATK is the GOAT. Yeah. When it comes to public television, they are the most watched cooking show. And I mean, they are legendary. You don't get through a classic recipe without first checking ATK because yeah. they streamline it to make sure it's foolproof for you. So yeah. I knew a lot about it, but I didn't know that they were ready to add a member to the team. Like I thought, you know, because ATK, are, we're talking about real professional, trained, yes. experienced chefs. We're not just going to reach out in the bag for, you know, a wild card. But they, they recognize that home cooks have a lot of things that we can learn from. And hence, the next generation searched yeah. America for cooks like you and me that could bring their A-game. Yeah, and so this, it's 11 cooks. Yep. Um, and they do all kinds of different competitions. Tell me about some of the things that they have to do to compete. Oh, girl. And get eliminated. It's so... Okay, my favorite one was trying an ATK recipe and being able to figure out how to remake the dish either exactly the same or make, make it, it better, ah. which is really cool because we had such a diverse cast that yeah. came from so many culinary like experiences, not not as um, professional, but more like they cooked with their grandma or right. you know they were um, single and alone and cooked at home for themselves all the time or busy dads. And so these people brought their own twist on things and the culture, the culture aspect was really yeah. exciting. You see that even in the first episode. A hundred percent. Yeah, so everyone kind of brings their culture, their yes. background, their family traditions. Their stories, their grandmama's their recipes, food. and you can't argue with grandma's recipe. You I know cannot. you're ATK, but like when somebody brings in their like three generations deep lasagna, I mean, shut you up. Can't, I know. <laughs> Just shut up. Just shut up. But listen, did any of the contestants stand out for you like from day one? Yes. I think um, we had my um, bougie on a budget Mark. I loved the way Mark put like a fancy flair. He was very into like Parisian French food and everything he did were... were Affordable, cool tips that made things look lavish and five-star. Yeah, star. that's always good. That's my favorite, right? Yeah. Always pretty for the gram. And I also really like Robbie. He was a New Yorker, um, a single guy in New York who From had Brooklyn? a single... Yeah, um, no, actually, well, actually, I don't know, maybe Manhattan, yeah. but like just had a single burner working in his apartment, one studio apartment. Yeah. And that alone, like we all know that story. <laughs> yeah. Like how are you going to whip yeah. up a full meal? I would lived in that apartment, beautiful. I think, at one point. <laughs> but we saw a video on your YouTube. You were learning how to yeah. cook your husband's favorite meal. Do you cook it's a lot at home? Are you like... I do. Have you I do. I cook a lot, but I never had the guts to call myself a chef because then you have expectations. I'm like, yeah. I like to cook the way Jeannie likes to cook. I like <laughs> four people, six yeah. you're pushing me. Yeah. I don't want to talk when I'm cooking because because then you're making me, it's just like parallel parking. You got to turn down the you gotta radio. You got to focus. You right, got to focus. focus. Okay. So I am a really good cook, though, and I make a mean lamb. I make great turkey legs. I make great Vietnamese food. Just not pho yet. Pho, like, oh. I'm going to leave that to the professionals. Yeah, I did a pho, like a pho off with Dale Taldi. Oh, you got his, you know, guts, girl. His is, his is really amazing. Um, but speaking <laughs> of YouTube, you do a lot of things on your YouTube channel, yeah. though. What what um, what um other things are you tackling yeah. and touching on your YouTube channels, for, my, for those who haven't seen it? My show Hello Honey is really a deep dive into my culture and my family and the things I'm learning as a grown up today. Uh, the girl that is now, you know, a mom, um, happily married, f took a lot of, you know, fails that were really lessons to learn to get to where I am. Yeah. But that journey to be authentic in and of itself, you know, I went through a lot of traumatic things when I was a kid and um, confronting my mom about it so that we could have a healthy 
breakthrough yeah. and not continue that generational curse. Yeah. And that's the hardest thing is actually sitting down and having a conversation yes. about something that's bothering you. Exactly. So yeah. it's, the, it's deep things like that to um, teaching my family not to get scammed on the internet and stop wasting money buying the fake stuff. Yeah. Like, things like that. But wait, I want to just take, I mean, we're running out of time, but I wanted to say congrats because the, the movie that you exec produced, yes. um, Surviving Sex Trafficking, yes. got picked up by stars. Yes! I mean, how amazing! That is huge. Guys, to have a documentary picked up by a streaming network so that everybody can watch and learn more about trafficking is yeah. tremendous. This is our second documentary. Our first was Stopping Traffic. And now to see that more people need to understand what yeah. this growing, terrible issue is. The fact that it's growing is even worse. That's the worst. The, the yeah. fact that it's now the number one form of dark crime is the commodity of human beings. So, yeah. it, so please do watch it. Survivors of sex trafficking. Learn how to protect your community and one another. Yeah, well, congrats on that. Thank you. Everything so else you got going on, Jeannie Mike. <laughs> All right, Jenkins. You can catch <laughs> America's Test Kitchen, the next generation, when it premieres tonight on Amazon Freebie. Thanks so much. Thank Good you. To see